Today's video is brought to you by the Seek of Strength Road to Anywhere Squat Program. This program is gathering a little bit of infamy for itself, being quite tough. It's eight weeks, two sessions per week. I know a lot of you have ran it are probably saying quite tough. Uh, it is pretty tough, but it is well worth it. We've had up to 45 kilos, I think is the biggest PR we've seen in a single run. And that's with someone with a squat in the you know 120s plus kind of range, not someone starting at 40 kilos. But there is brackets for people who are under those 100 kilo marks as well. So strap on your belt if you need it and grab the program. At what point should you start wearing a living belt? Uh, how much will help your lifting lift? belt? I got that. Obviously, I knew that was lifting belt. There's no real point when you have to start wearing a weightlifting belt. In general, we would recommend that you wait at least a year before you wear a belt. Uh, if you're very new to strength training. Uh, after that, then you can kind of pick and choose and make decisions based on how your training goes and what you prefer and what you don't prefer. Then you can kind of start deciding if you want to wear a belt, but you don't have to start wearing a belt at any point. How much does it help your lifting? Again, it varies depending on the lifter and the person and what kind of lift you're doing and, you know, what your preferences are and how long you spend training your belts and when when you start warming up with your belts at what stage you start putting on your belts. Some lifters, for example, like, at the extreme end, like Gabriel St. Crane will only wear a belt in competition or, or his heaviest possible clean jerk. He wouldn't wear it then for 98% of the rest of his training. And then you have other people who will put on a belt at 100 kilos and then whatever lift they're doing and just wear it for the whole thing, you know. So it really depends how much it'll help your lifting. I don't really think belts give you a whole lot. Uh, I think they just give you a little bit more consistency over a, a longer time frame as opposed to mechanical advantage on one lift i think this assists you uh over the seasons and over the sessions and over the weeks you have those sets and reps when you just have that belt and it helps you a little bit more it kind of adds up but i don't think to be honest other than the top level maybe the heaviest possible squats of the someone's genetic ability will they really be seeing much of a difference with their belt and things in terms of like actual numbers it's not similar to knee sleeves i think when people get used to a belt i think they get used to it psychologically as opposed to mechanically like with knee sleeves they undeniably give you assistance in relation to uh, the mechanical advantage from the sleeves but with the belt unfortunately it's more of a kind of a, a bracing mechanism as opposed to massive additional mechanical advantage uh, rarely will your back losing position make you miss an outright one rm now it's not advantageous across multiple sets and reps which is why most people wear them uh, but it's not like that advantage you get with these sleeves.